YouTube. Well, I think to keep me humble, I get bushwhacked, backhanded, slapped upside the head. You know, after my escape route at the service plaza this morning, I've had a doozy of a day, as you can tell. Um, hmm. I delivered fine in Ohio, picked up an empty trailer, um, it was supposed to be clean, I did not inspect it, um, then I was going to pick up a meat load and typically I would wash it anyway, but there was nothing, nothing near me. Um, so I thought, well, when I get to the customer, I'll just do a quick sweep out, make sure there's no pieces of pallet. Well, on my way to the customer, I took one wrong turn in Pennsylvania in a little town called Arnold. And those streets were so narrow. And it's true. On the Qualcomm, it said, the streets are narrow, stay wide. There's a pole on every corner. And truly, that's the truth. So if you do not watch your mirrors at every turn, you are going to take out one of those telephone poles, the big log type. Um, I'm not even sure how it happened, but I made it to the truck route within the town and happened to look at the sign that I was going by and I'm like shoot there's my customer right there so I back in and it's just a muddy mess huge potholes and I asked the security guard like is it okay to drive through these potholes how deep are they and he's like um, they drive through them all the time just be careful of a specific ones." so um, I backed up just to wait. It wasn't pretty, but I did it. And then I went to the back of the trailer and literally it was a freaking swamp. So I stepped through the mess. My socks were soaked. My shoes were soaked. Opened up the trailer doors, got up inside and saw what I think was blood trails. There was no way that this trailer was going to pass. So I went to the security and asked them if there was a washout here on site, which I kind of knew there was not. And he said no, and he handed me this beautiful paper. And my appointment was at noon, which I was a little late for. Um because I tried to find a washout. Uh, and then he said, it's a three hour round trip by the time you drive, wait, and then drive back, they'll be closed. I was like, oh my gosh. So I asked him if any prime drivers were there delivering because I thought, well, worst case scenario, they can deliver and pick up the load you know, and it could continue to move on. Well, Prime is an outbound carrier, so they only, they only uh, oh, pick up. So, um, that wasn't gonna work. So he was going to work on getting me an early morning appointment for tomorrow because I still have to be in Iowa with this on the 29th. I didn't do the port thing. That got thwarted. So, um, but while I was there, um, a prime driver was moving his tandems and he came up and he asked if I was Nene and he watches me and Hey, Rob, I, I believe, I'm sorry we were interrupted, but I believe you said your name was Rob, so um, it was nice meeting you. Um, 
but yeah, it's been raining up here and it's just a, a mess. So I left to go get the wash out because regardless I needed it and he's right. Um, it took a long time. I just finished getting the wash out now. You know what time is it? It's quarter to four here. And I can tell you that I've been sitting here for an hour and a half. And it probably took me 40 minutes to get here. So he's, you know, he's dead on when he says about three hours round trip, which is just sick. And this is the mess that I'm in right now. If you can see this. So, oops. So it's like that all over up here. But my washout's done. My appointment's at 7 a.m. And um, I got my load locks back. I did. I took your guys' advice and, and simply said, can I break the seal? I, I need to get my load locks out. Like, I just bought them. And the guy at the Walmart DC said, go ahead and break the seal. And he gave me another seal to put on. And he recorded the number. And then I, I took my brand spanking new load locks and they are locked in the rack on the back of my cab and then I certainly scoured other empties at the Walmart DC for Prime to see if there were any in there and there weren't so hmm some some sometime along the way I'm gonna pick up some more I don't want to buy them but you know somebody got seven from me so I should get seven in return somewhere. That's how I feel. Comes around, goes around. So uh, I'm out of hours. And the trailer wash people said, oh, just go ahead and find a spot. And so here we are. I got food, water. Jake's got food and water. Um, I'd like to say we could go out and play, but that is not the case. I'll be out of here early in the morning anyway to get back to the customer because it's uh, it's about 50 minutes from here. That's just sad. Yeah, just sad. I've, this is the third time now where I've had to go out of route a lot to get a trailer wash. And it sucks. And it was a toll road. I couldn't avoid the toll road, it said. But I keep pulling on my face. That is not a good look. But what I realized is that, you know, there's going to be ups and downs, just like everything in life. And I've got to deal with each issue as it arises, solve it, come up with ideas, um, and carry on. So tomorrow is going to be a new day. In fact, tonight's, tonight's a new night. I'm going to do some Netflix. Maybe make some popcorn. I have a lot of time. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to getting back to Minnesota. It's going to feel so weird walking into my condo. Like my one son has been there. Chris stops there and picks up mail and checks on the place, but I haven't been there. And what's really sad is I think about like how stuffed my closet is with clothes and purses and shoes and just crap. Like when you live on a truck, you really minimize, well, your wardrobe. Um, and, you know, find out what's important. You keep yawning, I'm sorry. Finding out what's important to you. So, I don't have time this go around, I don't think, because it's Easter weekend. But I'm probably going to go through that closet and uh, donate a bunch of stuff.
Like the idea of it just sitting there is sickening when somebody could use it. So I'm probably going to end up doing that at some point. But yeah, I'm going to do some home time videos. Um, hopefully introduce you to family. Show you some of my favorite spots. And this is, again, if, you know, if time allows and permits and all of that stuff. But um, somebody asked if I would show the truck too. So I'm going to do that this weekend. Um, and then I have that announcement to make. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. That's all I got. You know, I wouldn't say it was a bad day. I don't know that I've really had a bad day. I mean, I've had some frustrating things that have gone wrong, but it's all very tolerable. You know, I can't complain. I love what I'm doing. I really do. I love what I'm doing. Hmm. Makes me smile. Find something that makes you smile. Maybe it's a hobby. Maybe it's calling somebody. Maybe it's, I don't know, your favorite spot that you like to travel through. It's important to have those things that make you happy. And by things, I don't mean tangible assets. You know, it can be anything. The sunset. I'm telling you what, I love sunsets over Oklahoma. I don't know what it is. It's the windmills. It's just gorgeous. So... Yeah. It's one of the things I like. And a glass of wine on my balcony. Mm. All right, I'm rambling now of absolutely no importance. So if you stuck with me this long, thank you. Um, have a good evening. Be safe out there. Stay dry. I think it's raining a little bit everywhere. And, um, yeah. Stay out of the mud. All right.